And she's back in the studio. She said she said she's no way, no way she allowing 2022 to go past without her visiting us again. Well, she's she's coming here with a pizza and I've I've come, I've walked in with a box of Rocha Ferrero. So we are having a mini Christmas party here already. Yeah. Um Folks, it is my absolute pleasure once again to uh, to invite Jesse back into the studios here. Hey, Jesse, how are you going? Hey, I'm good, thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks. Uh, well, thanks for being here, and it's my pleasure. We are here for the arts, remember? Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> Anything for the arts. Yeah. And and for our um, for our artists struggling or otherwise, we are always here. So I hear that uh, you've been. You've been working hard. Yeah, I just released Shootin' Daisy's music video, mm -hmm. um, and it that it took me the longest so far out of all the videos on my EP. Um, Is I it because you use too much eye makeup? <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, it's great makeup, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it was because uh, to make the props, so I do a lot of the behind the scenes because uh, I produce as well as direct. So I had to make kind of uh, my vision come true. And I had like the idea of furniture that I wanted to use and stuff. Hmm. But of course, furniture is really expensive. So um, I had to kind of cut corners and, and, and build stuff myself. Um, and it took You all built furniture? Yeah, I had the bases were okay oh this is a good time shout out to wayne because he told me <laughs> to, he's my neighbor he told me to give him a shout out but he threw out these two tables and that was perfect because i needed two tables for my video and so i used those as a base which was great because that's a lot less woodwork to do um, and then i could just kind of get you know like wood panels from bunnings and and a bit of bunnings paint and <laughs> and it's crazy what like um you can do with with that kind of stuff and and so but it took longer than i thought to make you know those kind of things and and get it all coming together but i'm so happy that it's finally out because the message means like it's really deep and personal um to me and, and kind of my core values and what i believe in yeah well it's um it's a it's an anti-gun violent song so it's kind of there's a lot of war um images in it but there's also stuff that uh was to do with pol uh, police brutality and a lot of crazy stuff that happens there um i wanted to do i wanted to touch on school shootings more but it was hard to find uh footage that was non-copyright for that to kind of integrate you know um uh into the video so i just kind of had to write a line about mass shootings that occur um w with my actors and um they were really good friends of mine jacob and kurt um, and they're, uh, they have art of their own, so Kurt Lawfer, Jacob, Phillips Reinhardt. But, like, uh, yeah, they, they, they're artists um, of their own, but I had never seen them. I knew about them musically, but I'd never seen them act before. And when they came together, I was, like, genuinely, like, blown away like, um, by their, like, skills and how it kind of all came together on the day to, to bring it up to, to the level that it needed to be. And Yeah. <laughs> Wow. So, so, but in the end, firstly, how long did it take for you to finish? Oh, uh, filming or like, like all of it? Start all of it, start to finish. Okay, so. Uh, take uh, a breath, take a breath, <laughs> take it easy. Okay. Um, it, uh, it took me about a year, so I started. Whoa. Yeah. So February 2021, I started the, the kind of the the design around like the script and the storyboard and then started making props and I'd finished my props around October um, last year and then eventually uh, by the time that I, like we filmed and released it it's been like a whole yeah it's been like, and I've gotten everyone involved it's been a whole year but even filming they're always really long days so like um, it, uh, we so I had to, I woke up at like four to get to the studio by six to then film until like uh, six at night and stuff. So it's always like a, a massive, um, uh, you know, crammed into one kind of day that you smash out. But um, yeah, it all went really well. So and it was um, in a place that I'm so familiar with, and I think that helped because I record a lot of my music at the studio, uh, Damien Gerard Studios. Uh, I record a lot there for like just my albums and stuff so I already knew the space and it was a lot more less stressful I think than um, my last two just because of that I'm like yeah 